Hello, Mr. Carson. How you doing? Is your microphone working? Yeah. Oh, okay. I... <laughs> Right. What about your camera, dude? You like it's all I see is a cute. <laughs> you can't see me? No, dude. Your camera's off. Well, let me check. Hold on. Maybe it's me. Give me a second. I'm looking at it, uh, the people view. Let me turn this off. I am so sorry, sir. That was my view. All right. So at any rate, um Ooh, but ooh, you're on the line. Did you get the message in SB that I sent this morning or no? Oh, I'm gonna check. Check that out, yeah. I need you to get started on an application with Mr. Rush ASAP. Try and put some money in your pocket. Try and get you a job, kiddo. You're pretty good at this stuff, so fill that out. But um, do that when you get done with the assignment today, if you can. Mm -hmm. Okay. So get started on the assignment because I don't want you to take all day with that, but definitely that's on your things to do. And you need to hurry up because you don't want your application at the bottom of the list. That's the worst way to be reviewed. Um, that's Tamia. Well, welcome to class, Miss Love. Um, are you logged in to ESB and stuff? Tamia, are you there? She turned her mic on and off. I don't know. Uh, so I got to read the email. I think Irvin said gave me some intel about your computer. So try to fix it if you can. We're going to go through our norms. This is like the timer I set for students that may be coming to class a little late. Hold on. Um, so we got, let's do attendance. And what do we have? Make sure it's all locked. There we go. This is like 30 seconds left and it's 9.05. <clears throat> so roll call is only people present. For the sake of time, I'll go over it again. Is I think to me is okay. And I know Carson's here. So I'm gonna save those two and share the office. Okay, so because I've gone back and attendance issues were there. All right, Tamia, you logged in twice. What are you doing over there? Um, you got, yeah, you got two entries. Hmm. Are you trying to like resolve it with a phone or something? Or timer? Excuse me. Okay, stop that. Um, so Tamia, are you able to speak? Because we're gonna go through our norms. Um, unless you're having trouble. See on the second profile, her mic looks on, but she's she's turning on and off. She's trying to fix it, I guess. Um, so, Carson, I can't hear you. Uh, oh, there you go. Okay, so you fixed it. Uh, are you able to talk for the norms or no? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, so let's go through that. And I know she could participate a little bit. Let's come out of this. I'm going to be in NSV in a second, but I'm trying to get here. Here we go. So let's go over it together. I'm going to have Carson read one section. And I'm going to have Tamia read the next section. So I want you to start, Mr. Carson, with the five basic norms, sir. Are you there? Yep. Can you see? Let me zoom in some more. Can you see what's on the screen? Very good. Very good. Yeah. Okay. You want me to read all five? Yes, sir. Um, no one has the right to hurt another person. Education and class are my sacred. We will never be hanging away to this kid ourselves, our school, or our family. And Excel Academy Southwest students always look your gentleman. We take pride in Excel Academy of Southwest. Very, very good. Okay, so next is Miss Love. Can you read the five academic norms? You see it on the screen? We respect the pain of others. Mm -hmm. Culture of the classroom. We are attentive and participate. We like ourselves. We are here to focus on preparing ourselves for post secondary endeavors. Thank you, Miss Love. All right, so let's get into today's assignment, right? And um, I'm going to read from the chat, give you guys a moment to get set up. But 
Of course, you want to have your screen size, right? Two screens. So just resize it. And then we're going to take another tab. Um, you take a tab, you basically you have a tab over here. You can click and drag. I keep telling you guys, invest in the mouse. It makes life way easier. Yeah, it looks like you're a little older, but you know, just more sophisticated. That's what you tell people. All right, so have your code side by side. Like um, today's assignment, you're going to have multiple steps, and I'm going to give you two ways to code, which is why I came up. Can you guys imagine on a bigger screen? I had four here, four boxes that I had to use for a job. And then on another screen, I had the actual machine's camera because I used to work for, uh, what is it called, Redbox. And I was one of those remote engineers. So you're learning how to set things up so you can work in a computer science environment is all I'm trying to tell you. All right, so let's go through this. Uh, you want to have uh, the link is make code. So let's come to your Edsby, your computer science, make sure you're in there. And then, you know, of course, there's a few things you could check out, but, you know, go through ESB and you'll see everything I've discussed in pre previous videos or previous classes. So it's loading, but today we're doing make code, right? So I'm, I'm a little bit worried about this. So it might be internet, it might be the site. I got high speed, so I think it's the site. But here, in make code, I'm just going to put the link here because that's attempting to slow me down. Here we go. So let's put that in here, and it didn't take the whole link. Hold on, one guy, one second. You too. Copy the link. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna paste that here, and um, that is your link for starting the project. Now, are you guys able to? Is Esby functioning okay? For, uh, it's back now. Goodness gracious. Uh, Carson and Love, is Esby functioning okay? Because I, I was trying to tinker with it in the morning, and I noticed some lag. Are you guys able to see everything? Wow, man, it's tweaking right now. I'm trying to log in. Okay. So are you able to see my screen though? Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna send an email out. So it's it's, it's, it's a little bit lagging. Uh, it won't. It won't let me log in. Well, it still works. It's just it takes a little bit. But look, uh, look at the Google Meet link, so we can just get started on assignment. I'll I'll reach out to Esby and see what's going on. I know you guys uh, need that to see your assignments and your grades. Migration to Google Classroom. I see it coming. All right. So let's get started on this, right? So today's assignment is primarily about um, a multi-part, right? And I was telling you, in SB, you had all these things. You have... Your Facebook announcement, that's always going to be there at the top of the list. Next is the townhouse link. And um, I think I'm presenting, yes. And um, the classroom link is where we are. So fast forward to now, here's today's assignment, right? Now, to make sure it's clear, it's Wonder Woman 1984. So, Carson, you can put Superman or Link. It doesn't matter to me before you get started. But... I know that a few students are in this class who, you know, have the recordings and everything. They're also in the girls who code part. So just trying to give them something to do. But of course, you already got a whole application on your lap. So that's something you got to handle. But this is more for the ladies. You can program it in any way, fashion you want to, right? Just make sure it functions the same. Now, these are three parts to the code. I want you to go to this link that I put in the chat and we'll put it here again. So you can see how it's beneficial to have two screens and work. Give me a moment. I'm just going to go there. Yeah, that works like I wanted it to. And let's see here. Let's resize this. Okay, there we go. So you see on one side of the screen, I have, and we did this with Scratch, you guys, right? So in Scratch, I had you have a create side, and then I had you look at the code. I was building you guys up for five weeks on how to set your screens up and how to work asynchronously or synchronously. So with that said, the next thing you want to do is make sure you click on new project, right? I'm trying to show you how not to get lost when you're doing your work, right? So click on new project, give it the project name you're working on. Okay, I hope everybody see what it is. So let me start at the beginning with this one. All right, so I'm going to come back. Like, how do I start it off? Well, first size your screens and then you can 
do the same thing I'm doing. So on this screen, I'm going to get the source code that I want to work on, and it's this one, right? Told you it's a multi-part tutorial. When you see multi-part, because I'm getting you guys ready for your quiz coming up, and then we have a final next week where you got to do, I think, one more, uh, no, three projects, and you have to have them done by 8 p.m., but they're not going to be multi-parts. They're going to be tutorials, okay? So let's get some practice in. We'll get a good assignment in because that's what you're getting scored on in your performance. So we're going to click on the blocks to get started, right? And you can read about, in fact, let me get give out five points. Uh, Tamia, can you read that? Are you at the screen I'm at or no? Ms. Love, are you there? She disappeared on me. All right, well, Carson, can you read it? Oh, there she goes. Yeah. You say what you to say, me? Wonder Woman. Mm -hmm. Wonder Woman must find. Wonder Woman must find her. It went away. It's still there. Go ahead. Oh. I had to resize it for Wonder you. Wonder Woman must find. Wonder Woman must find a way out of a tricky man. She can cut our effects to gain points, also to avoid her enemies that will steal points. Okay. Thank you. That was five points, Miss Love. All right. So you start on block tutorial. This is blow this up. You guys see it. And like I said, it says here, hey, let's make a game where Wonder Woman must find the way out of the tricky maze, right? And I think this is similar to what Tamiya just read. So it's giving you a description of what she's going to do. And then just the, the main part is like we did in Scratch. We look at what, how it works, right? So she comes out, and these are objects that she can grab, okay? And, of course, you got to put some programming in there to direct her through this maze. So you see what's happening? All right, so let's continue on. So the first step, all right? Well, the second step, I should say, because it's number two, right? The second step is... Uh, Mr. Carson, can you read this part? This is step two. Can you see it? Or are you on that step? Yeah, I was trying to find the project. Okay. Find it. Oh, yeah, it's Wonder Woman uh, 90, uh, 1984. I think I was four years old when that came out. Well, I, I, I searched it or something? No, no. Wait, wait, show your screen. I can probably help you get there. Are you at the Make Code site? Mm-hmm. And then it's multi-part tutorials, Wonder Woman. Oh, I see. Yeah, it was the only um, comic book okay. character I could find when I was searching the programs. I was like, that's it. it. You see step two? Uh, step two, yeah. Can you read what's in the white block there? It said, open the sprites toolbox drawer and grab the semi sprite two block. Drop this block in the on star block and the set sprite to set my sprite to block. Click the gray box and draw Wonder Woman. Okay. Draw Wonder Woman smart enough to fit through the pathway. Right, right. That is what I want. That's why I want you to read that. Good, cool. Well, I was to say there's more to read there, sir. So you got to follow all of these because I will take off points. Don't have no big, this what this means is don't have no super big Wonder Woman. If you're going to change the sprite, don't don't make it too big for the corridor, you know? Don't make it fit. So that's that's something you got to think about. Uh, I'm going to go to Tamiya for this last step here. I want you to go through all these steps carefully, but this last step, when you get here, slow down. Don't click finish. You have this link. I'm trying to get you guys to not mess up. Some students yesterday, I got to start over because they were clicking finish. And then they got to the project page. They didn't know how to go back. That's why I say either if you're going to follow the steps and be careful, but if you know you're not going to be careful, create the project and follow the steps from screen to screen. Okay, so that's two ways to do this. If you slow down and take your time and just read, you're going to need to, you're need to be able to do what I'm talking about, critical thinking, you guys, you all, in terms of reading each step and doing it, because this is what will determine whether or not you get paid in some cases. Okay, so can you follow directions to the T? Technical directions. So let's click on. Um, no, I wanted to meet. Can you read what's in the white box there to me or no? You talking about the first one? No, I'm on step 15 here. 
You can click between the uh, steps and you come back. I just wanted you to read that so you guys don't hey, skip Shay. over that. Huh? Congratulations. There you go. Keep going. Click on this link to move to the for you where you would where you can add items on the to collect. Otherwise, click the finish button. So it says otherwise. Thank you. I want to be careful about that. Thanks to me. That's 10 points. So congratulations on completing your chaos maze, right? Uh, inspired by Wonder Woman 1984. So this is an old comic book scene that I've seen before. But um, actually, that thing that's in blue, the this link part, that you click on that, and I just wanted to make sure you saw, it takes you to the next part. Items, add items to collect. Right, so you saw the finished product when we saw it. So there's three sections, and I put it in NSV already. You got the chaos maze, you have objects to use or items to collect, and then the last section is add enemies. Okay, today in class, let's go back to NSV so you know what you have to finish and what you have to do for asynchronous work because this is due at eight. But in class, these parts should be finished. So let's go through this carefully. So I'm going to grab this, and I'm going to have Mr. Carson read this part. Okay, uh, put that there. <clears throat> All right, so you got it? Yeah. Go ahead. It says, hello and good day to all future computer scientists. This is a quiz and it covers everything we have discussed since the beginning of this week. Please review the tutorial and begin creating a Microsoft Make Code profile. You will need to confirm your email address, and this should allow you to share out all your all projects that you create in this class. You need to create a Microsoft online account. The link to start your multi-part tutorial on the woman 1984 via Make Code Arcade is below. Okay, thank you, sir. So that was 15 points, and then to me, I'm gonna have you read uh, the second part. So you guys will know, and you'll get 15 points for this because it's a lot. But uh, don't read the links. Just read the statements, okay? Someone's coming to class, you guys. Uh, Tamia, can you let's see where to stop it? It didn't do everything. Okay, so I'm going to remove this. And I just need you to read that part to Mia. Do you see it? Starts with there are. Uh, welcome to class, Miss Vernon. <laughs> Uh, there are three sections. You want me to read all of it? Yes, ma'am. There are three sections that need to be coded, so take your time. And be sure to Did she cut Sing. out? Oh, there she go. Sing. Synchronous? Is that what you're trying to say? Synchronous. Is that what you're trying to say? Okay. Mm -hmm. Synchronous has maze and items to collect components. The asynchronous? Oh my God. It's okay. Relax. The asynchronous mm -hmm. is the add enemies component. Use the code to recreate your own sprites and backdrop for the entire program. All segments. Keep in mind that you must choose your own sprites and backdrop for this project and all future projects. Thank you, Miss Love. That's 20 points, right? Okay, so honestly, um, what was I about to say? This is the part I just reiterated to you, right? That's so why I went back to it and I said, let's grab it from Esby in case Esby's not working. It's there, the instructions. So, uh, we had you read that out so you guys know what's expected. We're going to have about 10 minutes where you work on your own, right? So this is a form of gradual release, getting you guys training wheels off. We've shown you, so I want you to start, again, sizing your screen. Get to the appropriate project. You can find it in Edsby, uh, the link, or uh, you can find it in the chat. But we're working on what again? So you can do it here. I think it's Wonder Woman. You can, like I said, start a new project over here, like we did in Scratch a long time ago. It's 1984, right? So I can, and I'm going to say, 
what I would like you to name it as, because we're not naming things either. Because when you do the tutorial, it automatically uh, it names. So you're just going to put your last name because these are projects you guys are going to be sharing out next week. So you don't have to take the final exam. Okay. Welcome back, Aliga and baby. I couldn't hear you. Okay. I can't hear you, so I left it. You back, though. It's okay. You, you up. You logged in and ready to work? Uh-oh. Okay. Uh, so, you see how I named it, everybody? You're going to do the same thing. Make sure you name it with your last name, though, in the brackets. Last thing is, there is a way to code uh, today's uh, was it word of the day and term of the day. Now, I have it somewhere already listed. The term for you guys, well, it's not listed because it's in my lesson plan. and I got to find a way to put it in my classroom. Things to do. So let me get that for you. Uh, and computer science is considered to be a loop. Did I put that in there? So it's a loop or condition. And what do I mean by that? Let's come to here. Put that in the chat. So the classroom term of the day, I'm put typing in the chat for you guys, is it's basically loop uh, variables. I'm sorry, that's what it is. Now I think that's inside of the brackets of Edsby. Okay, I don't think you guys can see it. It's variables. And if you have variables come across the game somewhere and then go away, when I'm looking at the project, then I'm able to give you 25 points. Now, you just you just don't have to have variables. You have to have both, right? You need both of them, what I'm trying to say. So word of the day is what? Who remembers? Who was in Townhouse? Well, if you're not sure, I think it was hostile. Those two words, if they show up in your program somewhere, and I don't want them to just stay there. You know, show them for a little bit, make them go away. So you have room to go through the maze. So hostile and variables. Those are things you got to program into your, your, you know, your overall program or code into your overall program. All right, so I think I've covered everything. Um, I'm give you 10 minutes to just work on it. Remember, don't click on finish until you've done all sick, all sections. You know, only two sections really completed in class today. So the last section you do um, on your own, that's creating the enemies. And you need to make two enemies, and it shows you how. You can make as many as you want, but just two. <laughs> so don't go crazy. Just two enemies. Um, I think I said everything. And use your own creativity first. What sprite? You might want to keep the maze the same if it helps you. You can change the color of the maze. I don't know. Keep it simple is all I'm saying, but change this to characters. I think that should make it easy. All right, so we're going to share out in 10 minutes, all right? Use this time to, I don't know, like to me it says get, get some, a bowl of cereal, you know, eat that and work. Treat it as a working lunch because that's what you're going to be doing if you're successful at this stuff. A lot of you are working at home trying to code things like this for certain companies. They just pay you to sit at home and make, make stuff work for the computer. All right, so... Where's my timer at? I think I've said enough. Okay, come here. So it's, uh, let's do 10 minutes. Well, it's 926. How much time can I give y'all? We need share outs. We got 36. Let's do 15 minutes. Let's do that. Okay. Can't give you too much time. And uh, if you got a question or a concern or you're confused, I'm sitting right here. I'm just putting grades in the system and uh, trying to figure out how I'm going to get you guys ready for next week's finals. Let me redo attendance real fast. Vernon. Okay. So there's some new students on my roster. I just saw them pop up. Uh, where's Aaliyah? Okay, so Tyra Allen's not here. Michael Brown's not here. Aaliyah Kathy's not here. Julian Cervantes not here. Miss Cherry, oh no. Uh, your sister's here. <laughs> Roymond Davis is not here. 
Um, Ashanti will be here. She gonna be here? Okay, I didn't know if I should ask you. Um, she at the hospital. Okay. Something happened with her baby. Okay, okay. I'm trying to get her caught up, you know. But she, she, I don't know. They might keep her for two weeks. The hospital might keep her for two weeks. So I don't know. He just, well, I think we, I think someone mentioned that. I didn't know. But uh, thank you for giving me the heads up. Now I can confirm that with staff members. Uh, so she, she gonna get some paperwork. I just found out yesterday that she might get kept for two weeks. So. Oh. Okay. Well, thank you, Alika. All right. So Jamel Harris is absent. Joshua Hill is absent. Giovanni's absent, Jamar Jones absent, Romel Lee absent, Tamia Love is present, uh, Lenaria, that's another one, goodness gracious, absent, uh, Vargas absent, that's the new one, uh, Lika's here, Monet Worthy absent, all right, okay, so all right, we got uh, 12 more minutes, well, less than 13 minutes, I want to say, before we do share out, so try to have something done, right? We have a considerable number of steps completed in this project. So back to this. You see, after you do, well, I don't know, items collect. So that's that's the second step or second section. So if I come here at the beginning, you're going to click on the multi tutorials and it's Wonder Woman 1984. Start the tutorial. All right. You read through the description. What it's supposed to do to get an idea, and then don't forget about these uh, idea bubbles. Oh, Mr. Stay where? I don't know how to do the second part to um the thing. I was trying to do it yesterday, but I couldn't figure out how to do it. What are you talking about? Um, for the I guess it was supposed to be a quiz or something. You talking about the quiz? The slash uh, Friday. Um. Uh, yeah, it was a quiz for Friday. Oh, I just exit this. I think it was um. What is called? Well, the legal focus on this today, and then uh, pretty soon we have what's called office hours. That reminds mm -hmm. me, I got to talk to you guys about the schedule again. Did any of your teachers tell you about the asynchronous schedule? No. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, what? What? From your understanding, how does it work? Um, so the days that we got uh, just a synchronous assignment is the days we won't go to class for that specific class. So like Ms. Lane told us, Friday is our synchronous day for us, so we don't have to go to class. But if we need help, we can still show up because they'll be there. Right. Okay, good. That's a great explanation, sir. Thank you. Uh, so did, so who, so you say, who said that? Ms. Lane. But oh. I ain't got to say something like that. Oh, okay. So, uh, Alika, she told you to? Good, yeah. good, good. All right, so. Yours a Wednesday. Yours the last day? No, Wednesday. Wednesday? Okay, okay. So, everybody knows their sync schedules, right? That was shared. I don't have to share that screen again, right? To me, what about you? Did you hear about that? I don't know for this line, class. Right. Well, more teachers have got to start talking about it because it's cool. going to help you guys out. That office hour where you're able to come, like you just said, Alika, and see me and just work with me on that for that quiz we could do that but we gotta we gotta finish today's assignment so don't focus on that right now we're gonna work on getting together on that understanding of they just gave it to us monday a better understanding this week of how that works so we're gonna work through it together but i think once it, we all get in the habit of it it's gonna give us some of our time back and be able to focus things won't be so hard all right, so 10 more minutes, and then we had to share outs. You should be, like I said, at the this screen for Make Code, and then come down to multi part tutorials. And the one you're working on is Wonder Woman 1984. So I'm going to leave this here. You got a couple more minutes. Make sure you click on the, the start tutorial uh, part. Okay, Tamia.
Okay, it's time for sharing out. Um, who would like to share out what they have so far? And if I remember, I have to turn my presentation off. That's what happened yesterday, right? Okay. So who would like to share theirs first? Uh, if no one responds, I'm going to just call. Alba. Go ahead. So <laughs> you already done, dude. Oh, you're no fun. No, nah, I'm done with the first one. Uh, <laughs> share your screen. Oh, I thought I would like have him struggling. No, I ain't. All right, so what you, what you got? What section are you on, man? Oh, items to collect. Okay. Yeah, you moving on. Dang. Okay. So the first part didn't give you no trouble. No. Nah. Oh, okay. All right. Hold on. Keep it up. Um. You'll be able to leave around 9.55, I want to say, because I want to see how far you get. Okay? Uh, so if you finish faster, let me know. It might be earlier because <laughs> you still got the application to do. Um, let's see, Alika, are you there? Oh, where did she go? Oh, there she is. Can you share what you got so far? You and girls who coast, I'm expecting a lot out of you. Let, let's see what you got. You and Cherry, let's see what happens here. How's that sisterhood and everything working out for you? Oh, she's muted. Uh, okay, you got them. Oh, so you're constructing your own maze? Is that what you're doing? Okay. Hmm. Okay. You got, you got, what, what step was you on, Lee? Okay, so so let me let me teach you something, Malika. Really you see that hide button there for that block? Oh, that block. Yeah, hit the hide button. Hit the hide on that button. I don't see what you say. Come down. Come down. Now you see where it says to hot stop sharing. Don't click on that. But uh -huh. click on the hide. There we go. So that way you can go back to your microphone easily. <laughs> um, I saw that. I was like, she's struggling. So basically, what I was asking is, what step? That's seven. Yeah, I'm on the second part on the maze part. I don't even know how to why. I'm just um. Alika, you, you, you don't have to change that part. I'm gonna have to change it. You don't. You don't. You just have to make the maze work. Okay. You know what I mean, so don't worry about that. And choose a different character. That's all I was saying. Uh, I'm gonna go make. I'm gonna remake my character, but I I gotta learn how to make super um. Whoever, one to one. You can come back and fix that, but don't spend too much time on it. I want to get to the second part. Okay. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna come back and fix it because <laughs> I'm gonna want to just finish it and then I'm just gonna go back and fix Wonder Woman because I don't know how to draw her right now. Okay, you, you got your participation points. Keep working at it though, because I want you to catch up where Carson is on that second part. Uh, to me, what about you? See, isn't that better to me? Uh, um, Alika, you don't have that block in your way, huh? <laughs> I was like, I saw she was struggling with that thing. Uh, Tamia, you got anything you want to share, or, or should I give you about how much time we got? Ten more minutes? Or are you ready to share? She's listed twice. Hmm. Miss Love, are you there? Oh, she. Oh, she's presenting. Okay, there's a third to me now. <laughs> Uh yeah, you okay, so wait that you're you're on twelve. You're almost to the second part. I remember don't click on finish. You gotta go to the the link, right? And it's in blue. But uh, you got it, and you should click on the hide thing too, so you can get to your microphone. Uh, but anyway, um so I'm gonna put a clock um well, I said ten, now it's nine minutes. <laughs> um I should say let's make it uh seven minutes because we want time for share out. Let you guys out a little early if you have something to share. You gotta get past the step you was already on. You gotta be a little further, is what I'm saying. Be on that uh, second part. Now the third part, I said the timer. Yeah, the third part of what you need, it has to be established by 8 p.m. Meaning done everything, all parts done, three parts, three sections, and done and published and sent to Esby by 8 p.m. All right, we're coming towards the end, the finish line of the class. Grades are going out, I think, November 7th. Grade book closes November 5th. Uh, that's not far away, everybody. It's like next week. 
I think, or coming up. So, you know, let's try to have some solid grades and finish strong. Quarter one is about to come to a close. All next week, by the way, uh, I want to make sure I remind you of this. We're doing Bitmoji classrooms. So start combing through this weekend that's coming up, your projects that you're most proud of or you got the highest score on, and start thinking about ways you're going to put it into a Bitmoji classroom like the one I have. Um, I'm not presenting, but the one I've created. All um, next week, I'm gonna remind you of how to do it. You'll have t uh, two days, uh, two days to finish it, or you'll still be responsible for the final exam, which is a, a big project or a big um, programming programming concept. So I'd rather you do the Bitmoji classroom because it's more creative and it acts as a portfolio. If you're showing employers, well, here's what I did in Mr. Tyler's class, or here's what I did in another class. You'll know how to market yourself. All right, and this is going into entrepreneurial skills and whatnot. All right, so I think you guys can see what I'm doing. This is the Bitmoji Classroom. I put the link in there. You might want to bookmark the link. It's also in Esby multiple times because every time I give you a video recording, and it, um, let me go through that because y'all, I don't think y'all noticed that. I'm gonna be doing a lot of work. I don't think they noticed. Um, so you know, inside is classroom view. You get lost, right? And that's why I have to recycle things so you guys will see things at the top of the list. I understand. I'm a parent. And you, people get busy. I get it. So inside of you got your guys' uh, student accounts, you have the ability to go to your library. And these little links here, they're not the same, but they are identifiers for classrooms or Google Meets. And the biggest thing is when you guys come to the assignment, you want to make sure you click on the assignment to make sure there's no documentation in there. For instance, the recording yesterday, the Bitmoji Classroom link is right here. Every recording for the class, I leave it in the SB timeline for you guys. And it's by date, so you can't get confused either. All right, so uh, I'll give you the link in case you want to work on it. And then also the classroom's there, and then the videos are here. And there's even a YouTube link in here. If that's too much for you, this classroom is going to help you because if I start this presentation again, you guys will see that's so why I keep sharing that link. It's a one stop. It helps you out. We all have busy lives. I get it. So you click on me. That's how this thing, how that link starts. You can bookmark it and use it. It will change on its own as I change it daily. So I'm going to pay attention for things like extra credit, internships, and other opportunities to help you guys out during this difficult time. If we go to click on me with the apple here, you'll see yesterday's videos. And these are all YouTube links. So your, your class is here. You click on that in case you missed something. But today's video won't be ready until tonight. But this is yesterday's work in case you need to catch up on that as well. And there are other links for the quiz I can send you. Like I said, we have to get used to this uh, asynchronous schedule. So we have office hours and I have more time to discuss all these parameters. All right. So I just want to talk about that for a second. How much time we got left? Yeah. So we're going to continue on in about uh, less than three minutes. And we're just going to share out. If you have something to present, then you might be leaving a little early. If you don't, you can use this remaining time to ask me questions until class is concluded and you get ready for second period. So let me know if you have questions or not. We'll continue in a moment.
All right, it's time for share outs. Uh, we got seven minutes of class left. Uh, anyone? And remember, this is not just to leave early. I, I had that noted. Some people that were participating, I've already, you know, wrote that down. Cause, you know, I'm a dinosaur. I write stuff down. But um, this is towards, uh, I think I want to say, an overall 50 points that I try to give you towards any zero. So uh, the goal is to make some of these zeros or assignments you haven't done evaporate. And those are participation points. So uh, if you have anything to share right now, uh, share your screen. Um, I'm going to stop sharing because I think that blocks the next person. OK, so uh, let me go down the list and just do a pulse. Or he's usually stepping up. Uh, Carson, are you ready to share? Have you gotten further or no? Yeah, hold on. Okay. okay. Uh, be careful. I did this one over the weekend with my son, and it was a headache. <laughs> he got frustrated. I said, you missed a step. That's all. You just missed a step. So while he's getting set up, everybody, uh, start getting your screen ready. Uh, just need you to be a little bit further. I wrote down which steps you were on as a way to see if you're making progress. It should be a little further. This is part of your synchronous score. And so, seems like everybody's taking a moment. Carson, you okay over there? <laughs> you still trying to fix things? I'm good. I was adding some. Oh, okay. see, last minute adjustment. <laughs> you could have did that after class. I'm just trying to see where you at, sir. So I can get everybody out of here. It's 9.55. <clears throat> And again, this is just for points to help out your old scores. There you go. Oh, dude, you got super creative, man. Well, hey, you, hey, hey, you gonna tease me? Okay, <laughs> he gonna do the teaser version. Okay, you got really wow. You changed it up, I think. Okay, so nice, very nice. Um, now, <laughs> let's see, where are you at? What step? Add items. Oh, you're in the last step. Okay, so you're going to the last step uh, section, I mean. So you got to add the enemies, right? Oh, yeah, he got the objects in there. He got the same plan like it's Mario Brothers. Cool. All right, man. All right, I'm, I'm done with you. You, you, you go. Oh, okay, you're showing off. See you tomorrow. I'll turn in by eight. All parts. Don't finish that. Finish that last section, though. And try to figure out how to put those words in there. All right. All right. Oh, application, dude. Get it done. Okay. All right, uh, Alika or Tamia, who's next? It's 9.56. Or do you got questions? Did you get stuck? Okay, Alika shaking her head. What does that mean? Can't hear you. Oh, I'm oh, not hey. silent. Then we... Okay, there you go. You're sharing. I'm not fine. I'm just on 10. You're on 10? Yeah, okay. No, it is far, Alika. You, you, you did make some more steps. Yeah. Okay. Just keep working on it. You got all those parts to do by tonight, and try to let um. I don't know how Cherry's feeling. Try to let her know what to do. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. Go, go, go get some work. Uh, who's this? Nobody bring the computers up. Oh, to me? Because look, she on the pregnancy level, and if they have left have level oh. pregnancy, yeah. Uh, uh, Alika, mute yourself. <laughs> oh, she was telling me to tell you, and I'm like, so oh. They Bring the computer I, up to the hospital. My car was Vega this morning and explained it to her. She did? Okay. That that's what I was gonna say that you let somebody in the staff know so I can like follow up, but okay, because it's about helping her attendance. All right, thank you, <laughs> Alika. Uh that was quick. Uh Hello. yes, Tamia. I'm still in the same spot. You still in the same spot? What do you mean in the same spot? Can you share your screen? When I just let present uh, Oh, we gotta wait for I'm on stop. my phone. Okay. You on your phone, no laptop no more? Am I yes, supposed to be class now? Yeah, I said that was all you had to do when you could oh, leave. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um <laughs> so uh what you did you start the project on your phone though? Yeah. Okay, so can you can I can you share that? You keep saying you're on your phone as if you're frustrated. I tried to pick applications that work on the phone and it's the laptop, but 
you're still limited on the phone. That's why I was asking about that laptop. I know that's right. Well, you on that phone. You get that laptop going again. Are you, are you sharing? I don't know how. Oh, are you in Google Meet? Yeah. Okay, it should be a present now button. You see it? I don't see that on your phone. So I don't you gotta, see it. Okay, so when you go into the app, there should be options, right? I just call present now. Do you see your microphone, your camera button, and all that? Oh, did she leave? No. Hello. Oh, no. one of you left. Okay, it was like two of you a second ago. So, I'm trying to figure this out. You, you got the microphone button, the camera, and the the hang up button, right? Yeah. Do Do you see where it says turn on captions? There's a little CC button. Do you see that? Mm. I can't hear you, dear. What you say? I said no. You don't see none of those? All right. Oh, here's what I do. I'll try to email Irvin and see what's going on with that so he can help you out. Okay? But we, class is over and you need to get to your next period in 10 minutes. All right? So try to figure out something. Okay. I'm going to reach out to him to see if he can help you out. See you tomorrow. I was going to tell her to turn it in, but she left.